Hi students. Today you're going to be starting your flower bulb fundraiser for your school. You're going to get a parent letter and the brochure and you're going to sell for a couple of weeks. Now most students aren't that excited about flower bulbs but this is for your parents and grandparents. They go crazy when they see this especially now in March when everybody's got cabin fever. There's a lot of wonderful products in here. There's strawberries, um, there's mats that feed butterflies and hummingbirds and bees, sunflowers, hanging flower baskets, everything. Believe me, they'll really like this. I just need you to take this home, take it out of your backpack and set it out on the kitchen table so your parents can see it and take it to work and show it to their friends, okay? Um, there's a prize program that goes with it that's after my video right here talking to you and all these different magic prizes. There's YouTube videos of magicians showing you how they work and they're very exciting and you can be a magician too. And at the end, you'll see a ukulele. Con um, Grace Vanderwall will show you how to play a song on the ukulele because that's one of the top prizes, okay? Don't forget to take it out of your backpack and good luck. Thank you. So if you love stage illusions, uh, but if you're not a professional illusionist and you're not going to be performing on stage, this is possibly something you would really enjoy. It is a wonderful illusion that happens, you know, 12 inches in front of your face. And so I hope I brought the camera in really close. I hope it can pick it up. You take a, a playing card and then you take a, a match or you could use, you know, a, a toothpick. A match works better. A toothpick tries to roll away and so it matches square. And then I take another card and as I wave the card you see that the match starts to float up off of the card just like this. I hope you can tell on the video. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to pass it all the way through underneath just like this and then we wave it and it goes back down and you can put it right off in your hand. And so that's called the Super Floating Mat. Recently I've been studying hypnotism, and I'm sure you all know what hypnotism is. It's when you put people into a trance, 
Uh, it seems as if they're asleep, but they're actually still awake. And they go very, very rigid. Um, now, when you start with hypnotism, you're not allowed to actually do it on people. They make you practice on things. And so I'm going to have a little experiment this afternoon. We're going to try a piece of rope, because nothing is much more bendy and floppy than a bit of rope. And so we're going to see if we can actually hypnotize this piece of rope. Now, the first thing you have to do is you hold it like this, and you go, ooh, like that. Now, why you do that, I don't know, but you're told that that's what you have to do. So, ooh, and we'll, we'll, we'll see if that actually works. If I I'm going to, not going to do the whole rope, not at the moment anyway. We'll just try a little bit and see if that actually works. So, are you ready? If I take my hand away, it should... No, that's not very good, is it? Okay, maybe we need to we'll do a little more Ooh, and see if that works. So, try it again. Okay. If I take my hand away... Oh! Oh, look at that. Keep very quiet, won't you? Because we don't want to wake the rope. Look, the ship is beginning to wake. Shh, shh, shh. Now, the really clever thing is to try and do it to the whole rope. The rest of this rope is still all floppy. So we're going to see if we can do it a little bit more. And it looks... If I slide my hand along, look at that. Of course, it looks as if it's actually rigid. It isn't really, it's just because my hand's here. I mean, if I took my hand away like that, you'd see... Well, look at that. We've actually hypnotised the rope, all except this little bit here at the end. But the really good bit is when you wake them up again. So are you ready? We'll count to three. One, two, three. You see? And it wakes up and it's all floppy again, just like a rope normally is. So there we are. That is how to hypnotise a rope. So be careful, because next time I might try to hypnotise you. What's that? You're asleep already. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, it is Grace Vanderwall, and I'm going to show you how to play I Don't Know My Name on the ukulele. I did this on my Twitter once, but it was really quickly. Today I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step run through. Alright, so. Uh, first, you're going to have your ukulele and make sure that it's in tune. It should be G, C, E, A. Grace, choose every apple. If you have a tuner, it should be G, C, E, A. Alright, so the first, the, uh, one, two, three, four. You're only going to need four chords for this entire song. And all of them are super simple. The first chord you'll need is C. And you're going to take your ring or middle finger. It doesn't matter what finger you use, but... Preferably your ring finger. And you're going to go on the fourth string and third fret. And it should sound like that. And that is C. The second one is F. You're going to take your middle finger, put it on the first string, second fret. And your pointer finger and put it on the third string, first fret. A minor is the next one. And it's super simple. You just lift your pointer finger. And the last one is G. And out of all of them, it's probably the most complicated. It's not complicated at all, though. It's really easy. You're going to take your ring finger and put it on the fourth string, second fret. Pointer finger on the second string, second fret. And your ring finger on the third string, third fret. Now is on to the strumming pattern. Out of all the things in the ukulele, strumming is the hardest thing. So practice this a lot just by muting. You can be watching TV and muting and practicing your strumming. After a while, it'll just be super simple and you won't even think about it. You're gonna wanna go and only go down, but you have to fight that and go up and down. The strumming pattern to this goes down, down, up, up, down, up throughout the entire song, unless they're one strums. So. Except you do two on both. Two, so down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down. I don't do today, so we say. I try, try, 
start out slow. Don't try to go super quickly. And that's the entire song. Um, thank you for watching.